When you arrive at Blacksburg, you have Frank Beamer, who's been a legend. And then you're faced with the decision of how you move forward with that next era in Virginia Tech football. How did you approach that, and how did you eventually decide that Justin Fuente was the right fit? Yeah, and um, you know, we had our eye on Justin and, and a number of people, right? Casually, you're kind of watching that, just as, as you know, Coach Beamer's career is coming to um, down to a close, although we didn't exactly know it would be last year. But I'll tell you this, um, people are nice and say nice things about us hiring Justin, and we are excited about that. But Coach Beamer deserves all the credit, um, the way he did it, uh, the timing. I mean, what Hall of Fame coach would do this? He comes in and we talk and he says, hey, I've made this decision. And it was a pretty emotional meeting in a good way. Um, his wife was there. Um, but he says, hey, the time's right. And he goes, but also, Whit, I want to give you time to do what you need to do um, to move on the next coach. So whatever that was, four weeks before the end of the season. And what coach would do that where they would also take into consideration the transition and all that. So Coach Beamer deserves a ton of credit. Um, he's better than advertised. But as far as Justin, it's kind of speed dating uh, when, you're, when you're getting to know these coaches. And it was kind of nice with Justin when we kind of reached out like, hey, I really like you a lot. And he checked the box, yes, hey, I really like you a lot too. And then it, it went from there. But he, he, he's great offensively. We certainly need that. Um, and fit is an overused term, but Justin really embodies uh, the fit and culture of Virginia Tech and the relationship between he and Coach Beamer is outstanding. Um, obviously, we've got to win games, but uh, Justin has exceeded my expectations. He was becoming a very hot name, right? I mean, it basically, yeah. if, if people were saying what jobs might be open after the season's right. over, everyone would say Justin Fuente right. is, the, is yeah. the guy. W would you say it was that edge of knowing you had that extra time when Frank came to you and said, yeah. we, 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 I'm ready to go? I, I would. Year? It certainly helped. And then with Justin, too, I didn't know it at the time, but as I got to communicate with him, I do believe he had a lot of other offers, but for him, um, the fit to coach in, in a Power Five league, yes, but for his family, and he's a, a smaller town guy and a college town guy and likes to fish and be outdoors a little bit. Um, so I genuinely believe this, that out of all those jobs, Virginia Tech was the one that he wanted the most and we wanted him the most. And certainly we pay him well, but we couldn't pay as much as maybe some others, uh, but that didn't seem too important to him. And, uh, and again, when you have somebody you're very interested in, and, and, and they really um, are interested in you. And then with Justin, even his press conference, all that, I like his humility, but I also get the sense it's not too big of a stage for him. He's not overwhelmed by it. I mean, he's not overconfident. Um, and a lot of people that knew Coach Beamer years ago say that Justin and, and Coach Beamer have similar qualities at age 39 or 40 or whatever Justin is now.